He's got a variety of ladders to choose from, but chances are he's picked the wrong one. You see, Ernie doesn't use a ladder very often. Oh, he's received instruction in their proper use, but today his mind just isn't on the job. Now, what Ernie's got to do is replace that burned out light bulb. Of course, his ladder's way too short, but I think that's going to be the least of his problems. Okay, Ernie, the first thing you've got to do is inspect that ladder. I mean, you're going to be trusting your life to it. You know, there could be something very slippery on one of those rocks. Okay, Ernie, let's start all again. Yeah, that's real good, Ernie. But you still haven't inspected that ladder. Hey, don't you remember anything you've been taught? To the drawing board. Atta boy, Ernie. Check it out. Make sure the rungs are skid resistant and well secured. Make sure the side rails aren't damaged. Hey, Ernie, there's no point in having a ladder with skid-resistant steps if your shoes are all greasy. Here we go again. One thing about Ernie, he sure learns from experience. It's just too bad it has to be his experience. Oh, oh. That's it, Ernie. Make sure those legs are on solid, even ground. Okay, that's one way to do it as long as the ladder is firm and steady. Uh-oh, now you're in real trouble. Oh, I'm sorry, Ernie, but you know you shouldn't put a ladder in front of a door. When are you going to realize that ladder's too short? No, Ernie, never stand on the top step. You could lose your balance. Come on, Ernie, get down from there. Good grief, Ernie, never, never stand on the top cap. It's not meant for standing. It can't support your weight. Ernie, please get down off of there. Get a longer ladder. That's much too dangerous. Well, that was close. Oh, no, Ernie, never do that. You're just begging for trouble. <laughs> Ernie, don't you think it's about time you finally got a longer ladder? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's more like it. No, Ernie, carry it at the balance point. If the balance point isn't marked, just count the rungs and divide by two. Ernie, that's not the way to carry a ladder. Hey! hey. Watch out for that thing, Ernie. That's not the way hey. to carry a ladder. Ernie! Hold it! Don't move! Freeze! Now that's the way to carry a ladder. Well, you're carrying it right. Let's see if you can erect it right. Wrong. Very good, Ernie. That's the way to do it. No, Ernie, no. You don't have enough of an angle on that ladder. It could easily fall over. And you also don't have a very firm footing. Ernie, you're just lucky you didn't get hurt on that one. You better find some firmer footing. Well, the footing looks solid, but that's a dangerously shallow angle for that ladder. Ernie, you can break a ladder like that. You can break yourself as well. That's right, Ernie. Have the ladder out from the wall about one quarter the length of the rise. Let's see, you've got the legs out about three feet. The rise is about 12 feet. Looks good, Ernie. What are you doing now, Ernie? Oh, no, the top of the ladder's got to be seated as firmly as the bottom. Ernie, don't climb that ladder. It's too unstable. Haven't you been hurt enough? Stuck, huh? That's called a bolt, Ernie, and you need a wrench to loosen it. Oh, no tools, huh? Well, why don't you climb down and get some? Please, Ernie, get that ladder off that obstruction. Good move, Ernie. Now, get some... No, Ernie, no, no, no. Never climb a ladder with your hands full. Either carry the tools in a belt or pull them up in a bucket. Now, there are a lot of good reasons for not walking under a ladder. 
and Ernie is one of them. Hey, Ernie, you really ought to be more careful. Sorry. It's okay, Ernie, no harm done. You okay, Charlie? Charlie, you okay? I just don't have the stomach for this. Good going, Ernie. You're finally doing everything right, even the way you're climbing that ladder. All your weight's on your legs, and you're just using your hands to guide yourself. Hey, very good position. You always want to keep your shoulders below the top of the ladder. That way you never have to reach down to grab a side rail. Now what's wrong? Okay, there's another bolt. Better climb down. No, Ernie, no. Your belly button should never go past the side rail. You're leaning over too far. Oh, my gosh. Help! 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 Oh, 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 help! Ernie, wouldn't it be easier to get on the roof to change that light bulb? I guess. Er Ernie, I think you need a longer ladder. I can make it. Oh, that man needs help. I think I need a longer ladder. For sure. Oh. You want me to help you clean up that mess? No, I can do that. Okay. You're going to be running out of light bulbs, Ernie. Okay, Ernie. Looks like this one should do it. Not a boy, Ernie. When you're climbing onto a roof, the ladder's got to extend at least three feet beyond the edge of the roof. That's the law. Ernie, you're doing everything right, except for just one little thing. Ernie, never put a ladder near a power line, especially a metal ladder. And if there's even a remote possibility of contact with electricity, make sure you're using a fiberglass or wooden ladder. Hey, Ernie, very good. You're really catching on. Three-foot extension beyond the edge of the roof. Non-conductive ladder. Clear of all power lines and obstructions. Safety shoes in good shape. Legs on firm, even ground. Base of the ladder set back from the wall about one-fourth the vertical rise or working height. Hands completely free for climbing. Slow, steady rate of climb. All body weight on the legs. Hands used only for guiding. See what I mean? When a ladder's used properly, the job can be done in complete safety. Oh, wow, Ernie. You're even tying off the top of the ladder. Very well done.
Ernie, your Safely. Better have a lot of friends. 